In this video, we will see how to write a shell script to archive the files in a log directory whose size is more than some x mb or gb and the files are more than y days old and also to delete the archived files of more than z days old. Here x, y and z vary based on the input requirements. For example, x can be 2 gb, y can be 7 days old or z can be 10 days old. Before writing the shell script, open a new editor. So this is where we will copy all the commands which we will try in the terminal. So open the terminal. In the terminal, I have an example directory here. So in the example directory, I also have a logs directory. In the logs directory, I have several files which are generated at various timestamps. For example, here I have an application log file which is generated on number 1, number 2, up to number 9. So now as per our requirement, we have to identify the files which are older than some days and we have to archive those files. And once those are archived, we have to move those files to archive directory. So as part of the second requirement, in the archive directory, we have to find the files which are older than some Z days and we have to delete them. So let us start the scripting now. So first of all, we have to assign the logs directory to a variable. So I have assigned the logs directory to a log directory variable. Similar way, we have to have the archive directory as well. So let me assign an archive directory. So here we will create archive directory within the log directory as well. So I have used the log directory variable and we will create archive in this log directory. So let us create archive directory first. So this creates archive directory. You can verify that. So now we have an archive directory. So now as part of the first requirement, we will try to write a find command to identify the files which are more than 10 MB and also older than 5 days. Find log directory type f which is so we have to mention the size with 10 MB and the time period older than 5 days. So this should find us all the files which are older than 5 days. So now from the output we can see several files which have so the size more than 10 MB and older than 5 days. If you, if you see here uh, we did not see this file in the output because this file size is less than 10 MB. So that's why we did not get this output in the output files. Now we have to archive these files and those archived files should be moved to archive directory. So for that we have to change our find command. So in this find command we have to use exec option and this we have to use gzip command and this gzip command will archive each of the files and we have to end with a semicolon. So in addition to this archive we also need to move these files. So for that I have to use exec option again. Move and my file dot gz to archive directory and we have to close with a semicolon. So let us try to execute this command. So let us try to verify the output in the logs directory. Now we can see some files are missing here that means those are archived and those were sent to archive directory. Let us verify in the archive directory. Now we can see some of the gz files which are older than uh, 5 days and size more than 10 MB. Here in the output, we also can see the gzip command is trying to archive the file within the archive directory as well. So we should not do archive outside of the log directory. So this command should be changed so that the archive should happen only in the log directory. So how to do that? So before doing that, uh, let me restore whatever I have done. So now we have got all the original files. So let us try to change the find command now. Here we have to add an option called max step and it should be 1. So this 1 indicates 
this file will command the files in the parent directory only. It will not consider subdirectories of the parent directory when it tries to find the files. So, so here it will only find the files in the box directory. So let us try to execute this command again. Now we did not get any warnings. So let us try to verify the output again. So now in the archive directory we can see the archived files. So this way uh, we can find and archive the files which are older than some time period and also with size more than the specified size. So now in our second requirement we have to delete the files in the archive directory which are older than some other specified time period. So now let us try to write a new find command to find the files in the archive directory and delete the files which are older than some specified time period. So for that find dollar archive directory. So here we have to specify m time more than. So here I am specifying seven days, and we have to use exec option again. Now we have to remove those files and let us close this file. So this command will remove the files in the archive directory which are older than seven days. So let us try to execute this command. So now let us try to verify the output. Cd archive. Now we can see only two archives are present. The remaining three archives are deleted because those are older than seven days. So this way we can write uh, find commands to archive and delete. So now let us try to put all these commands in a text editor to write the cell script. So let me use history command. So I will copy all the commands here. So I am using bash shell and I will copy all the commands from the history. So I will modify this to put only the required commands. So here I have copied all the commands which I have used in the terminal into a text editor. I have just added some echo commands to mention what exactly we are doing here. So here instead of using this hard coded value, we can parameterize these values. So for example, uh, let me add some parameters here. Here I have added three parameters. The first one is log size limit to indicate the size limit which we mentioned here. The second one is the log time limit. So this is the time limit. And the third one is archive time limit. And this is the one here we are using here. So let us try to change this hot coded value here. So now we have used and now we have changed the commands to include these parameters. So we have to send these parameters as the input to the shell script. Now go back to the terminal. So let me move these files to launch directory to verify your test script again. So now we have several logs here. Let me go back to the parent directory of example. Here I will create a bin directory and let me create a new script cleanup.sh. So now I am copying this file content. Let me save this. So I am providing 755 permission to cleanup.sh so that we can execute this script. Let us try to execute now. In the cleanup, we have to specify the size first. So I am specifying uh, NMB. So I am specifying two days for the logs time period and three days for the archive time period. So let us try to execute this one. Now it is archiving the files and after that it has deleted the files. Now let us verify the logs directory and archive directory. In the logs directory, now we have seen only one file because all the files older than two days are moved to archive directory. So, in the archive directory, all the files older than three days will be removed. So, let us verify in the archive directory. So, now we have only one file which is not older than three days. This is how we can write a shell script to archive the logs and to clean up the archive directory based on the input time period and the size limits. I hope this video is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.